Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another CUDA worksheet tutorial. We're doing dilations today for geometry. Hope you enjoy. So dilations are fairly simple. The main thing we need to do with dilations is figure out the current coordinates. As we look at number one, we see that D is situated at zero comma two, H is at one comma zero, and then V is at negative one comma negative one. Now what we're doing uh, here is we're dilating it by two, dilation of two. Now what does that mean? Dilation means it's either an expansion or a contraction. So here it's gonna be, well not expanse, expansion, okay? Uh, or it's gonna be a contraction. So it's either gonna get bigger or it's gonna get smaller. And that's what it means. Now dilation of two, this is talking about the scale factor. A scale factor is something that makes it either grow or shrink. So think expansion is grow. There's lots of words I'm throwing out, but this is all synonymous. And our contraction is shrink. And that's what the scale factor helps us determine. So if it's two, if it's bigger than one, bigger than one, it's gonna be an expansion. And if it's less than one, it's gonna be a contraction, it's gonna shrink. If it's one, that means it doesn't change any size, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look. If we're dilating it by two, that means we are multiplying. So scale factor, we always multiply by the scale factor. Okay, so what does that mean? We're gonna take all our x and y's and we multiply by our scale factor to the x and to the y. And that's what we're doing. So if we look at D, we're gonna multiply both the zero times two, zero times two, and the two times, I'm gonna change it to a dot. I like the dot better. Zero times two, and then we're gonna do two times two to get our D prime. And I'm gonna write it off to the side first before plotting it. For H prime, we're gonna do one times two, and then zero times two. And then for V prime, we're, then v, uh, all these primes are at the new location, by the way. So negative one times two and negative one times two. I'm gonna highlight the scale factor. So their scale factor, dilation of two, that's where that two comes from. We multiply the X and Y coordinates of each by that scale factor. Now, what is the new result of where this should be? Well, D prime is now gonna be at zero comma four. H prime is gonna be at two comma zero. And then V prime is gonna be at negative two comma negative two. So we're gonna go ahead and plot these new points. So zero comma four is there, two comma zero is there, and then negative two, negative two is right there. And we see that it has expanded. Now, it's a, it's a non-rigid motion. That means it doesn't maintain its shape. That's what dilations are. They're non-rigid, meaning it doesn't keep the same dimensions, but it is a type of transformation. Now, if we look at these ones, again, we're just gonna multiply by four. So I like to look at the coordinates first. I think that's a super important part. We need to look at these coordinates and it looks like it's the same, oh no, it's not the same shape exactly, very similar. And we're just gonna multiply by four. So we're zero times four is zero, and then one times four is four. So the new location one, two, three, four is gonna be here, zero comma four. Then we go to one times four and that's four, one, two, three, four for the X value, and then zero times four is zero, so it's gonna maintain, uh, that right there. Anytime it's zero, you know it's gonna stay on that line, wherever it is. And then we have negative one times four is gonna be negative four, one, two, three, four, negative one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be right here, negative four, comma, negative four, after multiplying by four, and then we connect the dots and we're done. So it looks something like this. Sorry, that last one. Oh no! That last one uh, got away from me. There we go. Okay, and that's what we're doing. And it's, if it's half, it's the same process. We just multiply by half, though. So again, we have to label one, two, three, four, five. This is five comma negative five. So that's going to be annoying, but we can still do it. One, two, three. This is four comma negative two. Then we have three comma negative two, and then one comma negative five. So it's not going to be perfect. We're going to have. Uh, a shape, I'm gonna change to purple for my new shape. We're gonna to have to multiply each one of these by half. So M is gonna be 1.5 comma negative one because we multiply these by 
1 half, that's what we get. We get 1.5 comma negative 1. Now, I like to think of it as decimals when I'm finding coordinates, okay? And usually I like improper fractions, but this in this case I'm doing um, decimals. Easier to find in the coordinate plane, in my opinion. So 1.5 comma negative 1, that's my new point for m. Uh, 4 comma negative 2, so that's going to be 2. Okay, 1 half is going to give us 2 comma negative 1 as it multiplied both by a half. So it's going to be there. This one multiply is going to give me 2.5 comma negative 2.5. So 2.5 is, uh, oh, I'm sorry, did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 2.5 is here, and then negative 2.5 is right here. It's going to be about there. And then half of 1 is 0. 0.5, and then 2.5, so it's going to be right there. Okay, so you can see that the, sh the shape has shrunk. It's much smaller now. And it has, it's always, this is in regard to dilating about the origin, by the way. So that's an important uh, distinction. This is dilating about the origin. So everything is either going to expand or contract in regard to the origin. So notice how here it, we're uh, contracting. If we're shrinking, it's towards the origin it's going. If we're dilating, notice how it's expanding away from the origin if it's growing, okay? So that's an important distinction that this is about the origin. And then dilation of 1.5, it's the same thing. We're just gonna multiply each one of these by 1.5. Um, so this is uh, negative three comma uh, positive one. So you do one times 1.5 is 1.5, and then three times 1.5 is, what is that, 4.5. So 4.5 comma 1.5 is about here. And then we have and I mean, we'll just do this the same thing for all these shapes. So we have negative three, so that's gonna give us negative uh, 4.5 for this x value. And then that's negative three, so negative uh, 4.5. So it's gonna be about here. And this one needs to be in line with it. But we multiply that by 1.5, we get 1.5. It's about this. So there we go, that's our shape. And I did that one quickly just because we're doing the same thing with these, okay? Dilation of one half, same deal, it's gonna shrink. I'll do this one because it's shrink, and then dilation of two, we just make it bigger, so it's gonna be something like, <laughs> something like that. So one half, I'll do this one. So this is here at, it's gonna be 2.5 comma 0.5. Then we have negative one, uh, so it's gonna be 0.5, and then three, so that's 1.5. And then we have this one, which is gonna shrink to 0.5, and then one, it's about here. So see how it has shrunk towards the origin? It gets closer and closer closer to zero, zero as we dilate it or shrink it. Now with these real quick, uh, these are coordinate, you can either plot them like I did with number eight and then expand from there. So multiply each one of these coordinates by 2.5. But since they already give us the co coordinates, you might as well just go ahead and do that. So Z, oh, I should have labeled Z. Negative one, zero, so z is over here. Multiply by 2.5 and get a 2.5 is what it's gonna be. And when it stays at zero. Zero, two, is it gonna expand to three, zero, three. One, two, it's going to expand to uh, 2.5. So 2.5 and then two times 2.5. Oh, I'm sorry, two times 2.5 isn't three. Two times 2.5 is five. So I need to put that up to five. So 2.5 comma 5, negative 1. So we have negative 2.5, negative 2.5, and that is here. And then we connect our dots. So this is a new image. Okay, and then something as simple as uh, this one, we just multiply each one of these by 2. So we have negative 2, 0. I'm just multiplying all these coordinates by 2. And then I have 2 comma 4 and I have zero comma negative four. And this would be my dilation. I didn't draw the original shape, but this would be my dilation because that's all it's asking for in this one. And um, let's take a look at this. Same thing with it, we're gonna multiply by one fourth. So to get negative one comma 0.5, right? So two times one over four, two over one, we get two, yeah, one half. Okay, so I was right. Just double checking, then we have negative one comma one, then we have zero comma one. So our shape's gonna look like this after that dilation is really tiny. 
Now we have a rule. So what we have to do is we have to label each coordinate and then see how the X values change. So this is two comma two and it changes to four comma four. So how does it change between the X's and Y's? Well, it has to be the same thing. What, and then what you can do is you can take the bigger one and divide. So you can do four divided by two. Assume, oh, so no, we take the, the new image, the blue, okay, divided by the pre-image. So it might be a shrink. So then in this case, it's uh, dilation. This is going to be our scale factor. So it's a dilation of two for this one. Okay, because we did four divided by two. Two times two gives us four, and that's what it is. So again, we take our new image, okay, divided by the pre-image. In this case, our coordinate, ooh, itty bitty. Um, it looks like that is negative one comma negative 0 0.25 and then this one is negative four comma negative one so really we just have to worry about the x coordinate we don't have to worry about the y coordinate that much because we want to look for whole numbers and it has to be the same for both x and y so we can do negative one divided by negative four to find our scale factor in this case it's one over four so one fourth is our dilation for this one so that's it. That's dilations. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out West Explains Best for more videos on geometry or any other math concept. Leave a comment if you need something covered. Uh, and I hope to see you next time right here on this channel. Thanks for watching.